Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making another one of my spring and summer trend videos just because it's my last week of school so I don't have time to make an actual like beauty or fashion video just because I really need to buckle down on schoolwork and I should actually be studying right now. But uh, I figured I would go ahead and make this quick video so I don't leave you guys without a video for like a week or two. Um, but anyway, so I thought I would do another one of my trend videos and today's trend that I'm going to be talking about is coral lips. Okay, I'm sure you guys already seen a ton of videos about coral lips just here on YouTube but everywhere coral lips are so in right now like it's just like the biggest trend ever and I personally really love it because I love coral lips um, there's different ways that you can pull off a coral lip there's coral lipsticks coral lip glosses like coral everything so it's just your kind of personal preference what kind of coral lip you're gonna go for my favorite coral lip for myself is just a coral gloss so um, the products I'm going to be showing you that are my favorite are like all glosses. So I'm going to go ahead and start. The first one that I'm going to be talking about is a matte cream sheen glass in Richer Lusher. It's just a really like pretty coral pinky color. I guess I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys because in the tube it looks a little bit different than it is. Alright, so there's it swatched. As you can see, it's very pigmented and it's so, so pretty. Um, you can definitely layer up this gloss because this is a big swatch, but it is just, it's so pretty, and if you wanted to buy something a little bit higher end, like MAC, then I would definitely recommend this color because it's so pretty. My next favorite coral lip gloss is this Revlon lip gloss in Coral Reef. And again, it is just a very, very pretty coral color. Um, this would also be a nice dupe for the MAC one in Richer Lusher. If, you know, you didn't want to go that expensive, this would be a nice do. It's not exactly the same, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch this as well. Alright, so there's Coral Reef, and as you can tell between the two, this is the MAC one, and then this is the Revlon one, so Coral Reef is a little bit more corally, while Richer Lusher has some pinky in it, but as you can tell, they are very similar, so it's a nice dupe for each other. When I was going through my makeup, picking out the colors that I wanted to show in this video, I actually came across a lip product that I had forgotten about, but I love it and I love using it and I'm going to continue to use it because I kind of forgot about it. But it is a Soft Lips um, Lip Balm in Coral Charm and this is a part of their Pure Lime which means it's 100% natural. What I like about this one is normally Soft Lips are just clear but since this is in Coral Charm it has a like color to it. Um, I'll swatch this but sorry if you hear a noise. My dad is like outside power washing or something. I don't know. But, yeah, sorry if you hear that. But anyway, um, what I love about these is, you know, it has that color while also having SPF 15 in it and being moisturizing. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this as well. On camera, you can tell that it's a little bit sheer while also it has really nice, like, gold duochrome. Once this is on your lips, you can definitely tell that it has gold in it, which is following something that I found in this month's Seventeen magazine. Again, I'm talking about the Seventeen magazine and the lighting just completely changed. Um, sorry, but it is the same one with Emma Roberts on the front and it's on page 82 and on the top it says look hot stay safe and it's basically talking about the products that you can wear while also being protected from the sun. So the one that I'm going to be talking about is number two right there. It says sunset glow. Alright, so under sunset glow it says super shiny glosses can attract more harmful UV rays so always choose one with SPF. Go for a gold flecked coral shade. It makes every skin tone look instantly bronzed. So if you are looking for that gold flecked coral shade this would definitely be your lip product to go buy. Again, it's just a soft lips in coral charm. Uh, so yeah. But then also once you have that on, very shiny, it's kind of matte so your lips might look a little bit weird. So what I sometimes do is I wear this um, Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in Orange Kiss. I will sometimes wear this over that soft lips color. The last product that I'm going to be talking about is this EOS Lip Balm. Technically, it's not exactly a coral lip color, but the packaging is coral so I thought I would add it in. You guys know I love these. Um, because I made a whole video about them, but these are 100% or at least this one I found out that some of them are not 100% natural But this one is 100% natural and 95% organic. So um, The color is just clear it goes on clear, but the packaging is coral So I thought I would just kind of add that in but I think they're so cute So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you know in the comments below I always point below when I say that, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and like my little trend videos. Let me know what you guys think about them. Also, if you want a tutorial on how to do this hair, 
Um, it's really easy and I think it's really cute. And I had it in a messy bun earlier, like with the same thing, just in a messy bun, but I decided to take it out and put it in a ponytail. So let me know if you want a tutorial on it or, you know, any requests or requests on the trend videos or anything like that. So it's almost summer. I can't wait, but I hope you guys have a great rest of the school year and I'm going to make a video before that. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.